Hello everyone, I want to welcome you back to the CISM 2201 Foundation for Computer Application class. And today uh, I had stated in the last intro video that um, I had done that we were going to go over SAM and we're going to, I was going to kind of uh, cover it a little bit because it is a little complicated, uh, but once you kind of learn it, um, this will help you with the class because this is pretty much where all of the assignments and everything are located is they're they're located in SAM. So um, again, if you've got Blackboard pulled up, I want you to click on the course link for the class. Um, I'm just going to switch over to the student view so you guys can see this a little bit better and easier for you to understand where to click. So um, a couple things you can get to SAM a couple different ways. You can go through the links under lessons that uh, we've set up for you, or there's a quicker way, but I'm going to show you the lesson link first and then I'll kind of give you the URL to um, get to SAM. So if you click under lessons, and um, if you'll notice, you should have completed modules 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 modules that are located at the end of each of these modules or sections in the book. Um, I think that some people have had some issues uh, with the book, but um, again, to get into the um, Cengage Unlimited, it's just login.cengage.com, and I just want to kind of go over this real quick before we before I show you the um, Sam stuff. So I'm just going to log in. I created an account last week. Um, to to kind of just test the waters to see, you know, what you guys were seeing. Um, if I can type the password in. Um, hold on a second. Let me see if I can get into the account. Make sure I have it in correctly. Okay, I was typing in the password wrong. All right, so I don't have the Cengage Unlimited. I just created an account um, to kind of go through these these steps. Uh, but a couple different ways, if you have not set up your course yet or set up your um, set up your account, just you got to make sure that you get the Cengage Unlimited. Um, you can find it through the catalog, or the easiest way is to click on the magnifying glass at the top. And there should be, uh, it's in the syllabus. Uh, let's click on the syllabus and I'll show you um, the, U, um, the ISBN number. So you can pull that information over. I think I showed you that in the last video, but um, I did not have the Cengage Unlimited. So you'll need this ISBN number, which you can copy it from here. And this is the Excel one. But you can copy it from here and paste it. And it'll show up and you can add this to your home once you've add, added this to your home you should be able to go over to your courses and see the book that's been added so when you click on the book it should pull up the book and so you would go through this this one I refer to the book you would go through the book but here are the technology concepts chapters so uh, just go through those if you haven't done those yet. But like I said, you know, I wanted to, I want to cover Sam um, in this video. So we're going to be starting with Microsoft Word. So I'm going to click here because you're going to need your book for this assignment. Um, so we're starting with Microsoft Word. So you've pulled up your book. A um, couple different things. You can go back here into Blackboard. Click on your lessons folder, and then you can click on the actual link from the folder, which is Microsoft Word Module 1, and you can click the SAM link, and it should take you here. Now, the other quickest way that I was telling you is it's just sam.cengage.com, and that takes you to what I just clicked on from Blackboard. So, um, I can't set up a new user for you, but if you haven't set up one, you'll just click the new, click new user. The institution key that is located under um, the main lessons folder. 
you'll scroll down where it shows you the SAM help files and this will kind of, if you go through this, this will get you started through setting up um, SAM. So this, this top one gives you the institution key. Please put that in because that's for, that's West Georgia Technical College's institution key. We only have one and in order to see my class from when you're setting it up, you have to put that institution key. So you, you can again copy it. I tried copy and paste and it, it seems like it's just not pulling over correctly. So we'll just come in and type it in. So once you type it in, um, you should see that and click OK. I'm not going to go any further because I already have an account set up, so I don't want another account set up. So once you um, once you fill out all the information, I'm going to cancel this and I'll show you. Uh, you'll add a section to uh, your SAM. So let's uh, I'm going to pull this window back to the um, to show full screen. All right, so let's log in. So once you've logged in, I'm going to have to switch this over to the student view as well. Um, once you log in, you'll sh you should click on section and you should click join section. And once you click join a section, you'll search through and you'll add this section here for the class. Should say my last name, CISM. 2201 and then the uh, the CRN number and then summer 2020 so you'll just make sure that you add that class okay so now that you're at that point uh, a couple things when you click on your activities you can always come to this screen and normally if I have dates set aside for something uh, they'll be listed in the calendar but I've, I'm gonna choose to keep these assignments always available so if you click here um, these are the assignments that I've put in here. I've, now, I've put two weeks worth of assignments. I've opened two weeks worth of assignments already. So uh, kind of don't get confused. Um, don't, don't panic because you don't have that much stuff to complete by the end of the week. But for this week, or for starting out, we're going to start for, we're going to start out using Microsoft Word. And if you'll notice I have the assignments um, open, you'll see Microsoft, you'll see the Shelley Cashman Word 2019 Module 1 Textbook Project. And then the other one, and if you look at your course, go back to your syllabus or go back to Blackboard, you can see the assignments that should be turned in for this week. You can click on the announcements and, and scroll down um, for this week of the 7th. These assignments are due, which is Module 1, Textbook, Project, Module 1, End of Module 1, Module Project 1, and then Module 2, Textbook, Project. All right, so when you start working, these are going to be the assignments that are due for this week. And again, I opened up the PowerPoint assignments, and that you can, you can start those once you start the Microsoft Word projects. But... The, the key here is is to do these kind of in order. So the first project that you're going to do for Microsoft Word is Module 1, and that is the textbook project. So if you go back over to SAM and you locate the module Microsoft Word Module 1 and click on it, Okay, so if you'll read these instructions, you must use the SAM starting file um, in order to gain credit. You know, this project is not compatible with Office for, for Mac, and I think I've had some questions about that. So, you know, you can try it and you can submit it, but I cannot promise that you're going to get full credit for it because the way SAM grades. All right, so you're allowed four submissions. So that means when you complete it, you'll submit it and whatever... Um, 
whatever grade you can get, you can always improve it. And I always take the highest grade. So when you start the project, click start. If you'll notice, you have um, three different files here. You have the actual um, instructions. And if you click on it, it should open up. And it should take you to the book. Now, you, if it does not take you to the book assignment, please make sure that you're using either Google Chrome or Firefox. Those are the compatible browser, browsers for doing the, completing these assignments. If you're using Internet Explorer I, and you're having issues, I can't help you because there's issues with Internet Explorer or whatever the new um, browser that Microsoft's using now. So, But please make sure you're either using Google Chrome or Firefox. And so when you click that first link, it will take you to the book. Um, and when this, when it says book project or um, textbook project, you're going to be working from your textbook completing this project. So if you see here, when I when I've clicked the link, it takes you to Figure One. This is what the flyer will look like once you complete the assignment. Now, you cannot skip through this book or create this flyer on your own. You have to follow the instructions through the book. So when you're flipping through and you're reading this, you have to complete those assignments based on the tasks through the book. Okay, so this first few pages in the book is just kind of giving you an overview of telling you where all the tools are for Microsoft Word. So you can glance through that, familiarize yourself with the tools, but when you're flipping through, you're going to start on section WD15A. And this is where you're going to start doing your tasks. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a blank document. So if you kind of go back a couple of pages, it'll tell you to go to Microsoft Word or locate Microsoft Word. Uh, make sure you set your your margins. Make sure your where your um, insertion points is is at is in the beginning. You have an hit, hit enter, so you want to kind of keep that all the same and, and set all this stuff up for when you're starting to work on your assignment. So again, flip over, and you're going to work through these points. Um, used to when we were given the books, they were always red dots, but from the ebook, they use the orange. Uh, square with the with a number in the middle. So you're going to go through, and you're going to you're going to work out that through this through the book, creating this document. So if you ever want to know how to create a flyer, this is the assignment to do it in. Is you're going to be creating this flyer called Wash Your Hands. So you're going to follow these instructions all the way through to create and finish and complete that assignment. And so again. Make sure you read and follow every step because when you submit that and, and you come back and say, well, I didn't get full credit, um, I'm going to go through your problem and I'm going to look at it and I'm more than likely either going to find a typo, going to find an extra space or something. And, and trust me, when you complete this assignment and you don't get full credit, there's probably one little mistake and it's throwing the entire document off. So just please make sure you go through it and work through it. So. Um, this is the first assignment that you're going to have to complete. Now, as I stated earlier, it's a little tricky when you're submitting these assignments. Um, again, this this is a picture that you'll go that goes with the flyer, so you want to download this as well. Um, and this middle document is the document that you that you're going to use for um, the assignment. So if you click on it, it's going to save here in the, the left corner. You you should see it pop up, and it's going to save. Um, Let me minimize this. If you have all this other stuff, you can click it. Uh, there is some updates. I'm going to ignore all of this. Um, and so once you um, start working in your file, I'm not going to complete the entire assignment, but I'm, I'm kind of going to show you, you know, kind of how to get started. So let's go back here. I don't know where that window went for the book. So let's, we're going to click on it again. Here we go. All right. So you can snap snap this one side to the other for half so you can work better so you can follow the the example so 
Um, I'm going to flip back over to 1.5. I think I went the wrong direction. Yes, I did. Here we go. I'm um, going to type wash your hands. Exclamation. Um, just an FYI, when we're going to flip over and it's going to ask you to turn on this. Um, well, once you once you type wash your hands, you hit enter. Um, and you should kind of see everything. If you want to um, set it up like the way they're showing you here in the book. Um, but here is a show hide button. If you click that, that gives you your space and then your enter marks that you um, do in your document. So, all right, so just to save some time, I'm not going to complete the entire assignment. So, I'm just going to do a save um, as and just a couple of things uh, when, you're, when you're saving these documents. Um, and this is the tricky part, what I was saying. Uh, they have to be exactly. Um, what the assignment is expecting. So this long file name is how you have to submit the document in order to um, get credit for it. So uh, a couple things I always tell the students is, is just pay attention so when you're saving something um, this dot .docx it's automatically saved because it's already a, a Word document. So, but you want to save the document. And the easy way to do that is just to copy from the uh, the dot or the period all the way to the beginning of the, the uh, file name and just copy and paste it. That's probably going to be the easiest way for you. And then click Save. And so your document is saved. And so once you do that, uh, click here where it says click here on or drag and drop. I gotta locate the document that I was working on. Here it is it's under my doc, my downloads folder. So a lot of times, when you download something, um, it will automatically save in your downloads folder. So here's the document that I saved. Uh, the time I always check the time and the date and everything to make sure that was the la last one that I worked with. Click it, click open, and click submit. Once you submit the assignment, you can click on your view report. It will automatically grade that assignment, um, and so you can view your report on if you what you've missed on the assignment. So you'll notice here I didn't get anything except for two things right, and that was just pretty much typing the text. So um, as I stated earlier, you'll get four chances at submitting these assignments, and I take the the highest grade. So you get four times work on it. Uh, the good thing is is you don't have to you can the the file that you were that you created you can always edit that file and cha make those changes um, and get a better grade and so I always suggest please you get four chances at it you should always make a hundred on these unless you're having issues with it and then you can let me know all right so um, the order of these assignments is always going to be the book assignment and then the actual there's projects that we've that I've created for you to complete so once you get through with doing the book assignment, um, you can. Okay, sorry about that. The um, the little bit of delay. I had to fix this um, this project. All right. So the Shelley Cashman Word two, uh, 2019 Module One End of Module. So this is the next project you're going to do. But the difference in this one is is this project is not located in the book. This project is going to take what you've learned in the book. It's going to expand on it, but on this project, you're going to be given an instruction file, which you'll download. And you open up. Um, this is the instruction on how to do this assignment. So you've downloaded the instruction file. So the next file is going to be your actual start file. So if you click that file. Um, and open it up, you should notice an assignment that's halfway completed. So, with the assignment com almost completed, what you need to, what you have to do, is go in and use this file. All right. So you should notice that this assignment is about halfway completed. So what you'll do is take this instruction file, read through it, 
And if you'll notice, I talked about your name, uh, the file names earlier. This is similar. However, when you download this file, there's a one at the end of it. And so when you complete the assignment or once you download it, go ahead and change that from a one to a two. And this allows you to, once you once you save and upload it, it's the, Sam is going to be looking for this file name. So just please make sure that you follow these instructions. And so if you'll scroll on down on, on your instruction file, you'll notice that the there are pro, uh, steps that you'll have to complete in order to make this assignment look like it should or, or, or you know, get this assignment created the way that, it, that Sam wants to grade it and give you 100 for it. All right, so once you complete it, once you do all those steps, this is what the flyer should look like. Once you've saved it, uh, once you have it saved correctly, you've done everything that you're supposed to do and the, the flyer looks just like this, you'll again go back in. I'm not gonna make any changes, but, um, to this, just make sure you click enable if that pops up. Click set, uh, file, and we're just going to save it because it's looking for that dot two. I'm going to browse. I'm going to save it. Now you can save this file wherever you want to save it at. It's totally up to you. So um, again, end of module, first name, last name, and then we're going to change from a one to a two going to click save and again don't submit this file raw like this or you're going to get a, a zero on it I also failed to mention this here's your picture it's going to want you to download that picture because it's, you're going to have to insert that into your document as well click next it's looking for that file name click here this file is in my downloads and I have this assorted to the date for uh, the date and time to be the first at the top. So we want to look for this file. There's our Word document. And click Open. Click Submit. Everything's green. And then you can always look at your report, which I should get a zero because I haven't completed any of the steps. Yep, zero. So that's pretty much um, on submitting your files in SAM. Uh, every assignment will be different as far as you know, this week we're working in Microsoft Word and we're going to do two modules, Microsoft One and Word 1 and 2. Um, you should have four assignments for this week. Now next week, I've already, like I stated earlier, I've already opened those assignments, which is you're going to switch over to um, Microsoft PowerPoint. You're going to be working in that next week. But I went ahead, if you want to work ahead, I'm fine with that, uh, to go ahead and start working on the PowerPoint. Now, I, there is an exam due next week for Microsoft Word. I will open that on Friday. I did not want to open it now. I'm going to open that on Friday. Now, the exam, when you're completing the exam, is totally different. It's kind of an interactive, virtual interactive exam where um, you'll go through and you're going to locate tools using in Microsoft Word. You're going to locate the tools on what you know something will do. You know if if you're working on an assignment, let me pull one of these documents back up. So it will be a virtual um, window that you'll be working in, and so it'll have you make a change to something or uh, find the center button, and just kind of those those kind of questions is, is kind of how the exam will be set up. Now I will create a training for the exam but it is not I will not take it as a grade is for your practice and just just hear me out the the training is exactly like the exam but with different wording of questions so the training is going to be the same as the exam all of locating the tools and doing the different things but the wording will be a little different so again I would recommend you do not have to but I would recommend doing the training before you do the exam. Now let me just say this, these exams count a ton on your grade, so please make sure you do these exams. There will be an exam for Microsoft Word, and that will be open next Sunday. There will be an exam for Microsoft PowerPoint, and there will be an exam for Excel. So just please make sure you do those assignments. Uh, and I hope this, is, is, this tutorial kind of has been helpful for you. Um, 
I'm going to uh, send this out in an email, and if you need any assistance or you need to reach out to me about an issue, please let me know. Uh, my email information is in the syllabus. Uh, I've communicated with you, so hopefully you shouldn't have a problem with getting in touch with me. Um, and if you need anything, just please, please reach out. Uh, thank you and have a good day.